Well, hello everybody, and welcome to my adventure in ColecoVision. I picked up a, a ColecoVision console off of eBay just the other day. It came with a couple controllers, the power pack, and one game. And then I picked up a couple other games too, separate separately from that. <laughs> and um, uh, you know, the seller was pretty pretty upfront and clear about the fact that the um, you know that the unit did not work but it, but it was in really good shape and um, I probably should have taken the picture of it before I disassembled it and pulled out the motherboard here but uh, the main problem was that the video RAM chips which are eight of them over in this corner these are 16 bit by or 16k by one bit chips um, they were all running like atrocious atrociously hot and um, you know, creating all kinds of havoc on the screen. It actually was kind of sort of working, but boy, it looked it looked pretty bad, you know. So, uh, you know, I did the old finger test, you know, ch checked out the heat coming off of them. And unlike what I'm doing right now, I couldn't, I could not even leave my finger there for more than, a, you know, probably not more than a second or two because they were like scorching hot. So unfortunately, uh, with a Coleco uh, Vision board, Everything is soldered in place. Kind of reminds me of the Atari XEs. And so I had to go go ahead and desolder all the original chips, and then I put sockets in there, and then popped in some new uh, RAM for it. And everything came up and started working good at that point. So um, the other thing I did, and this is really what I was most interested in, is I'm trying. I was trying to figure out a way I could do like S video output from this thing, and. Um, you know, it's quite common to see like people doing the, you know, the composite video hack. I think Ben Heck was the one who first came up with that, and it works. You know, it's 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 okay. Um, but I really wanted S video, and I couldn't really find anything until I discovered that the RF modulator, which is what this little guy is here, that I removed, the chip that I also removed that was inside it. Um, and I've moved it over to this side here. That chip is is more than just an RF modulator. It also can take the component color difference signals, and it can uh, combine them or sum them to give you a chroma output. And once I had that, well, I already had you know also coming off of the uh, chip that's underneath here, which is the you know the TMS uh, VDP chip, video uh, display processor. Uh, it already had Luma coming out of it, along with the two uh, color difference signals. So I just took the Luma directly out of that, and the Chroma, uh, once it was summed out of this guy, and brought him into an FMS 6400, which is kind of my favorite uh, um, video buffer summing uh, chip. So you basically get um, S-Video output, and you also get uh, buffered... Um, composite video as well which is actually pretty nice so what you're seeing here on screen is actually the result of all this I'm I'm now looking at an S video output from this uh, ColecoVision and it looks a hell of a lot better than a composite let me let me tell you that <laughs> so uh, the plan here is to uh, I'm, I'm trying to make a project where I'm going to do like a daughter board for the 576 Nook, which is an Atari based system. And I want to be able to have a, a daughter board that drops in there that will also let you do ColecoVision at the, you know, as well. And um, so I've, I've still got a lot more things to do, but one of the big obstacles was to get an S video output from the, from the Coleco. And until I got that, I wasn't going to be really happy with it, you know. So now at least I can kind of check that one off my list of things to do and, and move on to the rest of the project. And uh, anyway, I'm pretty happy about it. I'm pretty jazzed about it. So you guys take care, and that'll be it for this video today.